Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate how to play guitar. Uh, I've been playing two years and I'm still learning a lot, so there's no way I could possibly teach everything in five minutes, but I'm going to try to cover a little bit, maybe even teach you one song. Uh, we'll start out by reading chord charts. This is a chord chart for uh, the chord C. It's one of the most used chords that there is. And you'll notice each of these lines, each of these represents a string, okay? And then the numbered circles, those are your fingers. And the order of the fingers goes one, index finger, two, your middle finger, three, which is your ring finger, four, your pinky. And your thumb would be five, but we won't use that today. Um, now, as you see, um, you would place your index finger on the second string, um, the middle finger on the second fret, fourth string, and your ring finger on the third fret, fifth string. And then you strum, and you have a C major chord, and it sounds like this. All right, we're making progress. And then we have the A minor chord. It's basically the same exact thing, only you move your ring finger down to the second fret on on the on the third string, and then it makes that sound. So you hear the difference. It's And then the next chord is actually very difficult for beginners. Um, it's an F chord. And the reason it's so difficult is because you have to use one finger to hold down more than one string. You see that you'll use your first finger to hold down both of these strings at the same time, the bottom two strings. And then two and three will go up here. And then you strum, and that's an F. Um, like I said, that bar chord, it's very difficult, um, but you know, with practice, um, practice makes perfect. And if you use your thumb to press into the back of the neck of the guitar, it actually makes it a lot easier to do because you can get more pressure on it, and then it sounds better. Okay, and then the last chord that I was going to teach you is the most used chord in guitar, pretty much. Um, it's the G chord. And it's fairly simple. Um, you'll use all four of your fingers with the with your index finger on the second fret, on the second to top string, uh, your middle finger on the top string, third fret, and then these two fingers will go on the bottom two strings on the third fret. And it sounds like this. All right. And then if you put all of these chords together in the order that I just taught them. Um, it actually makes a song. You can probably play a lot of songs with it, but um, the song that I'm going to try to demonstrate to you today is uh, Baby by Justin Bieber. Um, definitely not his best song, but fairly easy to play. So it, it has a fairly easy strum pattern. It's just... throughout the whole song. Um, it's not hard to do. Uh, it's a fun song to play. Um, people tend to get pretty hyped when you start playing it. Um, it's fun to sing along and stuff. Just have fun with your friends. Um, just remember, guitar doesn't come to you naturally in one night. Um, it takes a lot of practice. Uh, there's a lot more to be taught than just what I've said in this five minutes. But if you stick with it and you just keep playing, it's a lot of fun, and enjoy the music. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. And that's it. <laughs> Thank y'all.